And first on the show, we are cutting across to some breaking news as we are learning that the Centre of Economics and Business Research has said that India will become a $5 trillion economy in the next two years and beat Germany to become the world fourth largest economy by 2026. The Confederation of Indian Industry, that is the CII, has said today that the Indian economy will recover and overcome its slowdown in the calendar year 2020. This as the Modi government has been targeting at the $5 trillion economy. The Centre of Economics and Business Research now saying that India will, will very well become a $5 trillion economy in the next two years. 2020 is an extremely important year and the CII very confident that the Indian economy will recover and overcome its slowdown in the calendar year 2020. Not just this, in fact, the Centre of Economics and Business Research has also predicted that India will beat Germany to become the world's fourth largest economy by 2026. Certainly comes in as a New Year cheer for the economy and the Modi government as well as they're working towards removing or rather coming out of the slowdown that the econo economy is witnessing at this point. And most importantly, CII also backing the statement as they go on to say that 2020 is an extremely important year and that the Indian economy will not just recover but also overcome its slowdown in the calendar year 2020. In fact, also the statement that reads that there are nascent signs of recovery that are being noted in the form of improved PMIs of manufacturing services, jump in passenger air traffic and sharp moderation in the decline of passenger cars. Uh, let me bring in our executive editor, Abhishek Kapoor, who would be able to detail that better for us. Abhishek, break the, all the details and the statements that we are getting. Break that down for our viewers. Well, see, well, essentially what is happening is that uh, uh, industry bodies like the CII and some others are actually noticing green shoots. Uh, so, for example, while the CII says that there is an uptake in the number of uh, air passengers uh, across the country or uh, or, or uh, increase uh, in uh, uh, sales increase in uh, uh, the, uh, the the increase in the value of purchasing managers index which essentially shows that industrial activity might be picking up also in fact i was uh, looking at a report uh, which suggested that uh, there has been an increase of up to 20% in credit uh, uptake uh, from the market which essentially means that uh, corporate sector is uh, ready to take debt and uh, go into manufacturing and other capital intensive activities, which essentially mean that they are confident that there would be demand, which essentially mean that there are green shoots uh, that uh, the economy would be back on track. So also uh, from the government sources we hear, uh, uh, Suresha, that uh, A, the rubby crop is likely to be good given the fact that the monsoon was above normal, above average after a gap of almost three years. And two, that there would be a further stimulus uh, in the budget uh, on the back of almost uh, 5 lakh crore worth of uh, uh, stimulus uh, by various uh, uh, you know, announcements that the government has already made over the last six months, including the big one, which included giving uh, a corporate tax uh, rebate of almost up to 1 lakh 45 thousand crore rupees uh, that was announced by the finance minister. So uh, taken together... Uh, the decision that have already been taken that some some more uh, by way of uh, tax rebate that might be announced in the budget and uh, a better rabi crop and uh, all this uh, uh, gives uh, all these industry bodies uh, an indication that perhaps uh, the economy might finally be turning around and uh, we might have already seen the bottom and uh, things might look up from here on. Absolutely, Abhishek, and this certainly comes in as good news in the new year 2020 for the entire country, for the economy and for the government as well. Because even when we look at the political angle of it, we know how the opposition has been hitting out at the government due to the economic slowdown. But uh, this just indicates how we are on the road to recovery and how the government is also working towards bringing in measures that help improve the economy. Well, Suresha, of course, uh, uh, you know, that economic downturn was something that was proving to be the ECLF heel of uh, the government. And uh, uh, that was one front where the Modi government uh, was kind of feeling cornered because despite all that has been done over the last one year, specifically last six months after coming back to power in, in, in May, uh, the things uh, and the numbers were not really looking up. Uh, so now it seems that uh, uh, there has been a domino effect. There has been a percolation effect. 
and all the decisions that were taken in terms of belt tightening, in terms of stimulus, in terms of uh, SOPs, uh, that is finally having an impact. And as I said, the government, uh, uh, those responsible in the government believe that uh, because it was an above average normal monsoon, uh, it's going to have its uh, impact on a uh, good uh, Rabi crop and the post Rabi crop, and that, that's going to pick up uh, uh, or lift up the rural economy, which was essentially proving to be the drag so far as overall economic situation is concerned. And uh, as I mentioned, that there are reports that there has been an uptick of credit by the industrial sector, corporate sector, uh, to the tune of almost 20-25% over the last uh, over, over last fiscal. So this essentially means that even the industry is confident that the demand is going to pick up, and that's why they are ready to put in their money where their mouth is. And uh, all these things taken together make the government confident that finally uh, this one issue on which the Modi government was on a bit of a back foot uh, might be addressed, uh, maybe over the next two quarters, but the economy would mm. be back on an even keel, as also suggested by the Reserve Bank, uh, which stopped uh, reducing the rates, uh, which essentially means that uh, they were looking at an inflationary situation which is directly correlated with growth. Hmm. Absolutely, Abhishek. And let's also understand that this is the most important target for the Modi government at this point, and that is to achieve the $5 trillion economy. And it certainly seems that we are on the path to achieving that because there are many, many voices coming in at this point, hitting out of the Modi government when it comes to the economic slowdown, also stating that we are witnessing the slowest ever growth rates, witnessing the lowest rates when it comes to unemployment. But yes, the Modi government certainly working towards achieving that mark of the $5 trillion economy. Also, we'll try and get more voices from the CII to really understand on how really is the CII very confident when it comes to calendar year 2020, not just in terms of removing the slowdown, but also the economy towards its, towards its uh, recovery road.